Have a good day. I am Crystal de la Cruz, BPED 2D. The topic assigned to us is the digestive system. And as you all know, the function of the digestive system is to break down the foods we eat and release their nutrients and absorb those nutrients into our body. Let us discuss the functions of the digestive system. The first organ is the mouth. The mouth is the beginning of the digestive tract. In fact, the digestion starts in mouth before you even take the first bite of your meal. The extensive chemical process of digestion begins in the mouth. The major functions of mouth is to ingest food, choose and mix as food, begins chemical breakdown in carbohydrates, moves food into the pharynx, begins breakdown lipids via lingual lipase. The other function of mouth is to moisten and dissolve foods and it allows us to taste it. However, it cleans and lubricates the teeth and oral cavity. Also, it has some antimicrobial activity. Good day everyone, I am Jeff Conception from BPED 2D and today I discuss the pharynx. The pharynx is also called throat. It involves digestion and respiratory. It receives the food and air from the mouth and air from the nasal cavities. When food enters the pharynx, involuntary muscle contraction close off the air passageways. The role of pharynx in the digestive system. The pharynx is the part of the digestive tract that gets the food from your mouth. Branching of the pharynx is the esophagus, which carries food to your stomach, and your trachea or windpipe, which carries air to your lungs. Hello everyone, I am Christine A. Cordero, and I will discuss the esophagus. What is esophagus? It's an organ in the digestive system. It is part of the gastrointestinal tract, which is the tube that goes from the mouth to the anus. The GI tract includes esophagus, stomach, small intestine, other organs of the digestive system include the liver, gallbladder, and pancreas. Ito naman yung parang tubo sa lalamunan natin, mula sa leeg tugon sa sikmura natin, doon dumadaan ang mga kinakain natin. From the word intestinal is the tract from the mouth to the anus which include all the organ of the digestive system in humans and other animals. Food taken through the mouth is digested to extract nutrients and absorb energy. Ang intestinal naman, ito yung tumutunaw sa mga kinakain natin at dito napupunta ang sustansya ng kinakain natin at iyon ang nagbibigay sa atin ng enerhiya. Good day everyone, my name is Adrian Carles Chico from Bipen 2D and I will discuss you what is the stomach. The stomach is hollow organ or containers that holds food a while it is being mixed, mixed with the stomach enzymes. The enzymes continue the process of breakdown food into the usable form cells in the living of the stomach. Secretly, a strong acid and powerful enzymes that break down process when the contents of the stomach curve processes and out there release into the small intestine. And that remain function of the stomach. First one, temporary storage for food which passes from esophagus to the stomach where it's the held for two hours or longer. And second one, mixing and the breakdown of the food by obstruction and relaxation of the muscle layers in the stomach. And the last one, digestion of food. Good day everyone, my name is Marielle Combis and I will be discussing the accessory organ in the digestive system. Well, salivary glands, liver, gallbladder, and pancreas are not part of the digestive system, but they have a role in digestive activities and are considered accessory organ. Accessory organs of digestion are organs that secrete substances needed for the chemical digestion of food through which food does not actually pass as it digested. So let's talk about salivary gland. There are three pairs major salivary gland. First is parato parotid, submandibular, and sublingual gland. Salivary gland secretes saliva that is composed of water, mucus, enzymes, amylase, amylase, 
and saliva also moisten and lubricate food during mastication for easy swallowing. Saliva has a lot of enzymes that makes and help food particles uh, break down into smaller pieces even more. Next is liver. Liver is a vital organ. It is the largest gland in the body. Liver secretes bile. Well, bile is a yellowish alkaline liquid that consists of water, electrolytes, bile salt, and cholesterol. Liver secrete bile to emulsify fat. Uh, it also helps in eliminating waste or excretion. It also uh, nut uh, store nutrients that can uh, well it can store glucose has glycogen fat vitamins a e d and k it also detoxify blood well when wherein it removes harmful toxins and last on it is synthesis of new molecules it can make new blood protein next one is gallbladder if liver secretes bile the function of gallbladder is to store bile so the liver is to secrete bile while the gallbladder is to store bile after bile leaves the liver it reaches it reaches the gallbladder through the cystic duct it store bile and concentrate bile from the liver until it is needed in the duodenum small or small intestine if you notice the passageway the white circle the cystic duct that is merged to the hepatic duct of the liver form a common bile duct to deliver in the small intestine to deliver the bile in the small intestine last is pancreas pancreas secretes digestive enzymes and also bicarbonate which helps neutral neutralize acidic 